Millions of Americans hunkered down now in their homes, and the homeless do not have that luxury. Covenant House International is one of the charities providing food and shelter for many homeless young people. And the CEO is Kevin Ryan. And Kevin, nice to see you today. I know you were in New Jersey at the moment. How are you guys hanging in there, and what do you need? Yeah, thank you, Bill, for having me. In, in 30 years at Covenant House, we have never seen anything like this. In the 31 cities in which we're working, we have sick and symptomatic kids in most of those places. Nearly every bed is full. Last week alone, we served 45,000 meals to young people. There are kids who are coming into us just a few days ago in Atlanta, a boy who'd been hiding in hotel lobbies and hotel rooms who was scared and didn't know where to go came into our campus in Atlanta. We have a COVID-19 positive mom who gave birth on Friday in New Orleans. There are so many young people who are terrified out there and we are trying to help get them off the streets and bring them into safe isolation units if they are sick or symptomatic or care for them in our regular programs if they are not feverish and are feeling well. It, it is a terrifying time for kids who don't have homes. Shelter in place means one thing if you have a home, but what does it mean if you don't have a home? And what if you are a youth or a child? It's a terrifying time, Bill. Yeah. You have 18 locations across the country. Uh, how, what, what, what is the status of those 18 at the moment, Kevin? Well, in Newark, New Jersey, for example, we're in quarantine and we've converted the classrooms to a safe isolation unit for kids who are feverish. We've converted the top floor of our shelter in Manhattan, which used to be offices, into a safe wellness space for young people to be quarantined. We've converted mother and child programs and drop-in centers to be safe isolation units for young people who are sick and symptomatic. And we are definitely facing what a lot of organizations are facing on the front lines, staff who are getting sick. And so we are using emergency staff and emergency staffing in order to care for young people who are symptomatic or are COVID-19 positive. Oh. How many kids do you have, Kevin, at the moment? Uh. Last night, there were over 2,100 children and youth who were sleeping under a Covenant House roof. And that number grows each day. Well, you think about school, you think about jobs, you think about the uncertainty of the times, and how, how, how do you explain that to the 2,200 people under your care? Well, we can't give the kids what we don't have, so we have to be people of optimism and faith and hope because kids need encouragement and reassurance. Last week in New Orleans, 85% of the young people had lost their jobs at Covenant House within two weeks, and that's true wow. across the board. Detroit and Chicago, New York, Los Angeles. We're trying to be love in the world. You know, Kevin, how can we help? You got a website, you got a phone number, what do you suggest? Yeah, covenanthouse.org. We're using the emergency funds to buy masks, gloves, surgical supplies, excuse me, medical supplies, cleaning supplies, and food, emergency staffing. It's covenanthouse.org. We need the help desperately. I bet you need the resources too. Got it, covenanthouse.org. There we go. Kevin, thank you so much for coming on, sharing your story. I mean, you're not alone. I mean, there's so many that are in need right now. So we're trying to get the stories out and make it um, front of mind. Thank you, Kevin. Hang in there, all right? Thanks, Bill. You bet. You can find out more stories of people coming together in uh, this time of social distancing and all their information on how you can help at foxnews.com. So